Weak gate, problem six. Flat coil of wire is placed in a uniform magnetic field that is in the y direction. And I'm gonna draw a picture. All right, the picture I'm gonna draw is of the coordinate plate. So, hop, copy, paste, make you sideways. I guess horizontal is probably the more technical term in this case. Here we go. Make it a little bit flatter, copy, paste again. And you, my little friend, are going to be the y-axis. So it always bothered me as a kid that um, when you would start off in life, you'd have x here and y up and down. But then when you learned about z, then they moved y to the side. I was like, ah, I felt like they had demoted y. I always liked y. I'm not sure why. It's just always one of my favorites. And you're like, well, how do you remember that the coordinate plane has to be like this? Well, you can draw lots of ways, and you can rotate this however you like, um, but there's a right way and a wrong way. So the right way is defined by x cross y equals z. So you do the cross product here. So you do x this direction, y that direction, you get po pointing a positive z. If you get x cross y equals negative z, then your coordinate plane is backwards. All right, so we have a flat coil of wire is in a uniform magnetic field that is in the y direction. So the magnetic field is in the y direction. Oop. Now I should use a fancy. Oop. That's, uh, perspective's kind of in the wrong direction on that guy, though. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I should go back to the boring arrow, just because it'll look better. It'll look more accurate. Bam, purple. And I'm going to write B here. So this is the direction of our magnetic field. So the magnetic flux through the coil is a maximum if the plane of the coil is where? Oh, OK. So magnetic flux. So flux equals B dot A. And to get um, B and A the maximum, so this is like the cosine. Dot product means co the magnitude be cosine of theta, where theta is the angle between the two. And you define a surface, like the vector for a surface, as the uh, vector that is perpendicular to the surface. So like if you have like a plate, like a shield, that looks like this, I have a shield, but like I turn it sideways, so then it just looks up and down like this, then the vector that would describe it is the one vector that's pointing it, touching it like, you know, right at the center, but then touching it nowhere else. So intuitively, it is the one vector that would make zero sense on actually defining the um, uh, surface. But since it's, there's only, you're only going to have two vectors that define, um, that only touch it in one place. And that's not true. Um, you're going to have two vectors that are perpendicular to the surface. That's, that's a better way. Only two vectors are going to be perpendicular to the surface. And that's what we use to define it. So here, the xy plane, x and y, would have the would have the b field in perpendicular, because the x and y plane is perpendicular to the y plane. So to maximize the flux, maximum flux, we're going to want the xy plane. I think the others would specifically give us zero. Right. X, so if we looked at this guy right here, x, y, that'd give us zero because it would be um, perpendicular. And y, z, that would also be perpendicular. So, not perpendicular. Yeah, it'd be perpendicular. The angle of the plane would be perpendicular to the magnetic field. So, we want this, the theta between the two, to be zero. So, if you look at this, then a. Uh, the vector associated with this area would go off in the same direction as the magnetic field. Therefore, the angle between the two would be zero. You could also say that negative xy plane, maybe? I don't know. All right. For what orientation is the flux zero? Select all that apply. Oh, we already discussed this. So if we have xy, then xy dot y would be um, zero. The zy plane dot y would also be zero. It probably actually is true that z dot y dot y equals zero. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it. 
So basically anything that has a Y. Bam, bam. So these two. These are just conceptual questions. All right? And that's just getting you ready for um, using dot products. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think we got that one. Bam. On to problem seven.